in this video, we're gonna learn about the angle addition postulate and also about angle bisectors. So why do we need to learn about angle addition postulate? So that we can solve for angles when we have more than one angle that are um, paired together. So what does the angle addition postulate say? I like to remember it similar to what the segment addition postulate says. When I have an angle like this, that now has a ray that comes out of it that makes two smaller angles. So I'm talking this angle right here and this angle right here and then a big angle. So I like to think of this as well, my small angle plus my other small angle has to equal my big angle, right? Because let's just think about this, pretend if this one was 40 and this one was 10, then the whole thing would be 50 because we add them together, small plus small equals big. So mathematically, when we look at this and we write out our angles, where if we first talk about this green angle, I'm gonna get rid of these numbers here. If we talk about our green angle, we say that this is angle W, X, Z. So I say the measure of angle W, X, Z. Plus the other small angle, my blue guy, Z, X, Y. And remember, you can name an angle backwards, Y, X, Z. I'm gonna go with Z, X, Y though. Equals my big angle. My big angle is this orange guy right here. It is W, X, Y or angle Y, X, W. Measure of angle W, X, Y. Okay, so angle addition postulate, I want you to remember small plus small equals big. So I got a couple examples for you. I want you to solve for the angle that is indicated. So on here, they tell us the measure of angle LKN is 145 degrees. Find the measure of MKN. All right, now when you're doing this type of problem, the best thing for you to do is to literally get out a piece of paper and a pencil, draw out your angles right in here because it's easy to write on your picture. It really is helpful. So they tell us that the measure of LKN is 145. So I'm gonna literally draw this in here like this. This is 100. 45 degrees. All right, they want me to find MK and they want me to find this guy right here. So I'm just gonna note that. So because I'm not just finding X, I have steps to do after that. But to find my X, I have to write an equation. And I know that my small angle plus my small angle equals my big angle. So I'm gonna write this down. 2X plus 10 is my small angle. My other small angle is 4X minus three equals my big angle, which they told me was 145 degrees. So just where so you know where I got this from, here's a small angle, this yellow one. Here's another small angle, this orange guy. And here's my big angle, which they told me is 145. So now I have to do the math. So I'm gonna put my line down the middle. So whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. First thing I have to do, combine together my like terms. Here I have X's. Here I have x's, here I have constants, here I have constants. 2x plus 4x is 6x, and 10 minus 3 is positive 7. I need to get x on the side by itself, so to do that, first thing I have to do is, because this is a, pus a positive 7, I need to subtract 7 from both sides. So I get 6x is equal to, and use a calculator if you need to, 145 minus seven is equal to 138. I now need to get x on the side by itself. So this says right here, 6x means six times x. To undo times or to undo multiplication, I need to divide, and whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. So I get x is equal to 138 divided by six is equal to 23. Now, we're not done yet, because they didn't ask me to find X, they asked me to find the measure of MKN. So MKN, MKN is this angle right here. So the measure of angle MKN is equal to four times X minus three. But we just found what X is. We found that X is 23. So if I write a skeleton, Right here in this spot, I'm writing what I found for x, which is 23. So I'm gonna use my calculator. Four times 23 is 92 
divide it, I'm sorry, subtract three equals 89. So that means the measure of angle M K N equals 89 degrees. Let's try another one. Okay, find the measure of N L M. This one, they don't give us as much information. So N L M. This is what I have to find. So I'm just gonna make a note of that. That's the angle I'm trying to find. What do I happen to notice about these two small angles? I have this small angle right here, yellow, and this other small angle right here, orange. What do you notice about the big angle? It makes a straight line. Yeah, and a straight line adds up to how much? 180. So I'm gonna do my small angle, 4x plus three plus my other small angle, 10x minus five equals my straight line, 180 degrees. Okay, so let's solve. And just so you know, this is my small angle, my orange, I'm uh, sorry, my yellow, and here's my orange, equals my straight line. So combine together my like terms. I have x's here and x's here, constants here and constants here. 4x plus 10x is 14x. 3 minus 5 is negative 2 equals 180. First thing I have to do is I have to get rid of this negative 2. To do that, I'm going to add 2 to both sides. And I'm left with 14x is equal to 182. How do I get rid of this 14 right here? This says 14 times x to undo times or multiplication, we divide. So I'm gonna divide both sides by 14. 182 divided by 14 is equal to 13. Okay, did it ask me to find x? No, it asked me to find angle N L M, this orange one right here. So I'm gonna say the measure of angle N L M we know is 10 x minus five. And if I set up my skeleton, 10 times a what minus five? What did x equal? 13, so right here I'm gonna put in a 13 and I'm gonna use my calculator if I need it. So 10 times 13 is 130 minus five. 130 minus five is 125. So the measure of angle N L M is 125 degrees. Okay, I got another one for you. Let's look at what we have here. What kind of angle is E, F, G? It's a right angle, right? So these two smaller angles right here, this one and this one are what we call complementary angles because they add up to 90 degrees. So I'm gonna do my small angle plus my small angle, 2X plus five, whoops, plus X plus one equals this time 90 degrees, it's a right angle. And just so you can have some visual, here's one small angle, here's my other small angle equals my big right angle. So I have to solve. Again, this one doesn't want me just to find X, it wants me to find the measure of H, F, G. So I gotta find my orange guy. I'm gonna put a little star right here so I remember that's the one I'm trying to find. Okay, so I'm gonna combine my like terms. Here I have x's, here I have x's, here I have constants, here I have constants. 2x plus x is 3x, five plus one is six equals 90. I have to get x on a side by itself. First thing I'm gonna do, subtract six from both sides. So I get three x is equal to 84. Then I have to get x on a side by itself. This says three times x to undo times or multiplication. I have to divide. So I'm gonna divide both sides by three and I get 84 divided by three is equal to 28. But that's not my final answer. They want me to find the measure of angle HFG, which we already put a star right here. So the measure of angle HFG is equal to x plus one. So my x value that I just found, 28. So right here, I'm gonna write 28. And what's 28 plus one? 29. Okay, next. There's just a couple more vocab things that you need to know. 
Um, first thing that I want to talk about is congruent angles. To write out the word congruent, it's this equal sign with a squiggly over top. And to write out those symbol for angles is just an angle like this. So a lot of times I'm just going to write this symbol to mean congruent angles. So I don't have to write out the whole word. Um, and angles with the same measure are congruent. So remember when we learned about vertical angles, vertical angles are the ones that are across from each other in an X. So these two and these two, those angles are what we would call congruent angles. And I just want you to remember that the angle measures are equal, but congruent, but angles are congruent. So what that means is if I'm talking about these two angles right here, angle A and angle B, we know that they both equal 90 degrees because they're right angles. So I could say that the measure of angle A is equal to the measure of angle B, but I would write that angle A is congruent to angle B when I'm not talking about an exact measurement or their degree. And last but not least, we have an angle bisector. So what is an angle bisector? It's a ray that cuts the angle in two small congruent angles. So in other words, what's it doing? A bisector cuts something in half, okay? So cuts it in half. If it's cutting in half, that means the two sides or the two angles are going to be equal. So in this last example I have for you, it says ray YW bisects angle XYZ. Find the measure of angle XYW. So if I have a bisector, that means that this angle and this angle, my two small angles are now congruent. So I can write congruent, remember means equal. So I know that 2x plus 20, my one angle, equals my other guy, 4x. Have to get x on the side by itself. Typically, I like to have all my x's on the left-hand side, but in this case, it's less steps if I move them to the right. So I need all my x's on one side. I'm going to move this 2x first. Subtract 2x from both sides so that the x's go away on the side. And I'm left with 20 is equal to 2x. Now I have to get x on the side by itself. This says 2 times x to undo times or multiplication. I divide both sides by 2, and I get x is equal to 10. Now remember, it wants me to find the measure of angle x, y, w. So I have to find this guy right here. So the measure of angle x, y, w is equal to 2x plus 20. If I write out my skeleton, 2 times blank plus 20, how much did I figure out what x is? x is equal to 10. So right here, I'm going to plug in a 10. And I solve. 2 times 10 is 20. And 20 plus 20 is equal to 40. So that means the measure of angle x, y, w is equal to 40 degrees. Good luck. Let me know if you have any questions about the angle addition postulate, congruent angles, or angle bisectors.